Hi guys, welcome back and we're going to look at that cool 80s rock song which is something that I've really enjoyed playing to be honest um, because we're going to play with a little bit of gain. <laughs> <laughs> so why not, right? Why not? I mean, I'm excited now. I've got this cool pedal. It's called Dirty Little Secret, um, and it just makes it sound like a massive Marshall amp. So that's what we're using. Now, let me take you through the verse and intro of that song, okay? So we're very, very much using... I'll turn this off for a sec. We'll do it clean. We're very much using the new chord shapes, and then in the chorus, we're going to go to the older chord shapes that we've already learned. So... In the verse and in the intro, we go from C to D. And we're going to do it like this. C to D. Okay. So C, D. Nice and simple, right? These are the two A-shape bar chords. Okay. And the third one, when we get to it, is going to be an E minor. So again, we're going to go from D up to E. But because we want not major this time, minor, we're going to go to that bar chord shape. Okay. So our three chords in the verse is C, D, and E minor. Okay. So let me take you through the rhythm of all of this. Okay. So we're going to start and try to do this in eighth notes. Okay. So in terms of count, it goes like this. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and okay so your first two bars are, are really easy really because the first bar is just one and two and okay so let me just slow that down for you one and two and so we change on the and okay so this is like a push we deliberately change on an upstroke okay one and two and and then the second bar is just totally empty three and four and one and two and three and four and okay so nothing there at all the second time round we're going to bring in the e minor so one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and okay so we change the c on the one to the d on the two and and then to the E minor on the four and, which is another upstroke, okay? So just to get this really clear in your head, I'm gonna do it with a nice steady drum beat um, and count you through it, okay? So here's the beat. Now, here we go, nice and clean, after four. One, two, three, four. One and two and three and four and one and, keep the arm moving, three, one and two and three and four and one and two. I'll do it again. Three. Keep the arm moving, okay? One and two and. So there's your change. Four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three. Let's get some gain on this, shall we? <laughs> four, one and lovely. Gain put me off. Okay, so there's the gist of it anyway, guys. So that's what we're going to need to get together first. Now, in the intro, you're going to do that loop round twice, and in the verse, you're going to do it around four times. Okay, and that's before you then get to the chorus, which we'll look at in the next lesson. Okay, so have a bit of fun with it, get some distortion on so that you can really kind of hear the big sound that we're trying to achieve and make sure that you're doing all the air strums as well. Don't, don't get into the habit of kind of going and getting lazy with it because you know the sound in your head. Really make the effort, you know, to make the kind of count one and two and. Because if you make that effort now, when we really get into complicated strumming and, and more advanced stuff, you're going to get it a lot, lot quicker because you've learned properly all the way up to that point. Okay, so don't get lazy on me now. So, have some fun with that and next time we'll put the chorus together and then the whole song.